I'm Miss Penny and these are the Kid Vision Kids and we're here today to find out about fruit and vegetables. Great! Hi Kid Vision Kids and Miss Penny. Thanks for coming to Mirando Farms. I'm Chelsea Mirando. Let's go to the market. Yes, let's go. So this is the market where everybody comes to buy their fruits and vegetables that we grow. Wow, it looks like a rainbow in here. Look at all the colors. Would you like to go shopping? Yes. Do you want to do some shopping? Yes. Oh, yes, we'd love to. Thanks. Great. Follow me. the beautiful fruit and vegetables that we got from our, our market today. What do you see on this table? What does this remind of you of? What do the colors remind a you of? A rainbow. A rainbow. And look, they're in rainbow order. Let's say the names and the colors of the rainbow. Are you ready? Red, Red orange, orange, yellow, green, green blue, blue, purple. purple. All of the colors of the rainbow. Isn't it interesting that nature grows the colors of the rainbow for us to eat? It's like magic. It's a wonderful thing. And I wonder which of these are fruits and which are vegetables? How do we tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Well, fruits carry their seeds with them or on them. And vegetables, they flower or root or are part of the plant. Why don't we cut up some of these fruits and vegetables and see if we can find the seeds. What fruit or vegetable should we start with? Lemon. A lemon. lemon. I wonder if this is a fruit or a vegetable. Let's see. Do you see a seed? Yes. So lemons are? Fruit. Fruits. Very good. Yeah. Strawberries are very tricky. Where are the seeds on the strawberry? On the on outside. On the outside. They're being super tricky. They're hiding their seeds right in front of our but face. But they're still fruit. They're still fruit. Now let's see, which one do you think is a vegetable that we can cut? Carrots. All right, let's see. I don't see any seeds. It's not a seed because it's a root. A vegetable is part of a plant. I think we've got some broccoli here. You know what part of the plant a broccoli is? It's a flower. The broccoli is a flower. The carrot is a root. A kiwi. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's going to be green. Yummy kiwi. Oh, let's see. It's a fruit. Let's gather our scraps for the farmer's compost pile. Wow, what I'd really like to know about now is compost. I hear a lot about it, but I'd like to know why is it important and how do you do it? It's important because we want to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How do we do that? Well, remember all the fruits and veggies that you guys ate today? Yeah. Well, we dump them into this bin, just like that. We mix it up with a little water, and a little sunshine turns into fertilizer. 
Compost is a natural fertilizer made from leftover fruits and vegetables, leaves, and brown paper. Compost helps plants grow stronger and healthier. It's like recycling food. Maybe we can take a look at what it looks when it's ready to be fertilizer. Fantastic. Okay, follow you ready? me. You wanna see? Yeah, I do too, come on. Well, we've had some great experiences. We went to the market and we picked out fruits and vegetables and we saw what's a fruit and what's a vegetable. And now we're gonna learn how to grow fruits and vegetables. Can you tell us about it? Sure, all you need is a little bit of soil, a little sunshine, some water, and some seeds. Wonderful, and I see that you don't really have to have a lot of land to grow a garden. You can do it in a small pot or even a swimming pool at your school, or as big as you want. Would we like to add a little soil? Yes, let's add some. We have to mix it up really good because we need the dry soil and the wet soil to mix up. Ready? Mixing, 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 mixing. Would you like to grow some bean plants? Yes. Okay, let's grow some bean plants. Here we go. First, we need good, rich soil. Then, we need seeds. Poke a finger in the soil and plant your seed. You can plant seedlings, too. Seedlings are seeds that have already begun to grow. Carefully make room in the soil and gently pat it in. Then water and watch them grow. With a little bit of seeds and soil and some sunshine and some water, we were able to plant our garden. 